What's going on people? Welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. We hope you guys have had a great Christmas and let's hope for a good end to the year as well but all depends on how Chelsea perform isn't it? It's Aston Villa versus Chelsea. First time I'm ticking off this ground as well. Third time lucky too because the last two times we played Aston Villa since they came up it got cancelled because of lockdown but we're here. Results have not been going our way so far as it stands. Leicester are getting pammed by Manchester City. Arsenal are getting the obvious result that we expected against Norwich and Spurs are beating Crystal Palace. So if this game wasn't must win already, we have to go and get a result today. Otherwise, Arsenal are going to be breathing down our necks. And Spurs look revitalised under Conte too. So things are looking real tough for Chelsea right now. And out of all the teams competing for, let's say, second to fifth, we're in the worst form in my opinion. Obviously, we got the result against Brentford, but it was a massively rotated side. And it was also a result that we should have got. So I don't want to take too much into that. But this is a big game. Aston Villa are a very tough team. With or without Steven Gerrard in the dugout, they're going to be hard to break down. And I expect this is going to be a difficult game for us as well. But we need to show some confidence. And we need to have a convincing performance because we haven't had one since October, if we're being honest. Or maybe mid-November. But regardless, it's been too long. We need a convincing performance and it needs to start today. Let's see what happens. We're on our way down to the ground now. Let's hope we get the three points. And yeah, like, subscribe and up the shelves. Oh, 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 oh,
potential goal of the season right there. Ain't that just our luck the last few weeks? We wanted to find Chelsea's form the last few weeks. That goal right there. Fucking hell, man. We never make this easy. Never. It's been coming as well. They've made the better chances this game. We've just been crossing them, inshallah, again. This one is. Let's go. Honestly, Aston Villa have been ripping us apart this whole half. We, we, we need to have a question about this build-up play because it just hasn't been good enough the last few games. If it keeps up like this, Villa will get another clear-cut chance. We got lucky with the penalty, but it's the same story from the last few games. We need to do better. Right, half-time, 1-1. Again, penalty saving us. Same story with Chelsea. We are lucky to still be in this game. Like, if it weren't for Thiago Silva, Rudiger, Chalaba, all that points of key blocks, that's been what's been saving us in this game because we have got torn apart on the transition. Like Credit to Aston Villa and, hate to say, credit to Gerrard and what he's doing as well because he's already making a very good Villa side. They have been the better side, we'll be real about it. They made the better chances. We've been struggling. Like, it's been the story of us the last few weeks. Ever since all the injuries and everything, we've just struggled. Like, our build-up play is horrific. Let's be real about it. It's been absolutely poor. And we have been saved by penalties and luck, to be honest. And I don't really know how long this is going to last, especially with the fixtures coming up. We need a win in this game. But we've already said that with the results that have happened today, we have to get a result. And we're struggling. Let's be real about it. We're struggling. So I don't really know what to tell you for the second half. I don't know what changes will make us better. But at the very least, you know, we need a striker because Pulisic false nine just isn't working. And I'm not even saying that to like slander him or anything. It's not his position. It doesn't work for him. We've clearly seen that the last few games. I don't know why we're persisting with it. We just need to be better in the second half. There's no other words for it. Our build-up play needs to be better. We need to be smarter on the transition. And we just need to get rid of this crossing and hope ball that we're doing. Because it's the same thing we, we complained about on the Lampard. And now we're resorting back to that same tactic. Like... It's, it's frustrating, it is what it is, but hopefully the second half can put a bit more confidence back into the team because right now I am worried. I am so worried, but let's see what happens in the second half, innit? Like, I don't know what to tell you, man, but peace.
Possession games were really good since the second goal, I'll give us credit for that. Clear cut chance has not really been there, but we've been holding on to possession and seeing the game out. It's all we can really ask for. Yeah, Reese James has been really good as well. But yeah, hopefully we see this out in the last 10 minutes. Hopefully. Come on, George. Come on, George. Come on. 